Hi, thanks so much for joining me today for this wonderful seated yoga practice that is all about softening and releasing the jaw. Lots of us carry tension in our jaw. I actually carried so much tension in my jaw and was grinding my teeth so badly that my dentist gave me a root canal, but I still had pain. I ended up having three more root canals on the same tooth and because it was still hurting I went to the oral surgeon who said no I think your tooth is just fine and as it turned out I probably had four root canals for no good reason simply because I was grinding my teeth so much so I don't want that to happen to anybody else um, I got through it thankfully but it took a long time so it does take some effort to release tension from our jaw. And I have done a little bit of research about that and it seems that somehow or another there's some kind of connection between the jaw and the hip. Um, there's a little article that I came across that you might find interesting. And if I remember when I post this video, I'll post a link down in the description below so you can read over it. They really haven't found what that connection is necessarily, just that it seems that if you release tension in your hip, your jaw will relax and vice versa. Can't hurt, both the hips and the jaw tend to hold a lot of tension. So let's work on the upper part and in some of my other videos, like a tree pose video that posted on um, Christmas Eve, uh, you will find some hip releasing videos. But for now, Let's find a comfortable seat. Just a nice sturdy chair or even a couch will do if you want to sit in cross-legged position or easy pose. Um, Sukhasana on the floor or mat, you can certainly do that if that's more comfortable to you. But for right now, we're going to make sure our sit bones are nice and grounded on whatever surface we're sitting on. Our seat, our, excuse me, our feet are grounded onto the earth in front of us. Our tailbone is kind of tilted down towards the earth so we're not arching the back. And our crown is lifted towards the sky. In between here, we're keeping that chin tucked to keep the neck long. And we're keeping the heart lifted so that we've got all this great circulation going on in here. Your hands can be on your knees or thighs face down for a more grounding feeling or they can be turned open and resting gently here for more of a giving, receiving kind of feeling. So whatever feels most comfortable to you, just take a couple breaths at your own pace and just notice wherever you are. And as you do that, think about relaxing all the muscles of the face. You can close your eyes here or soften your gaze if that's comfortable for you. Continue to breathe as you soften the jaw, soften the eyes, soften the forehead. Keep the chin tucked and gently roll your shoulders up towards your ears and back and down. Now let's take our left hand to our heart center our right hand to our belly. We're going to do a three-part breath here. So the first part is inhaling until you feel the belly expand. The second part is continuing to inhale until you feel the solar plexus expand. And it may feel more like it's spreading across your body than expanding like the belly, but everybody's different, so whatever feels right to you, just notice. And the third part is filling the lungs so that the heart lifts. And as you exhale, everything in reverse. So I'll talk you through it. Let's begin. Big inhale. Feel the belly expand. Feel the solar plexus widen. Feel the heart lift. And exhale, feel the heart release down. Feel the solar plexus draw in towards the spine as the belly deflates. Inhale, filling up the belly, the solar plexus, the heart. 
heart. Exhale, releasing the heart, releasing the solar plexus, and letting that belly draw in towards the spine. Continue breathing in this method, belly, solar plexus, heart, heart, solar plexus, belly. As you do this, visualize just a wave, a wave in the ocean, swelling, deflating, rising, falling, filling up the belly, solar plexus and heart, letting the heart soften, the solar plexus soften, and the belly deflate. One more time on your own, nice big inhale, Let's bring our hands back to our thighs, knees, or to our sides if that's not comfortable. And let's inhale to really open up the heart, look up, keep the chin tucked though, keep that neck long as you look up, open up the heart, draw the shoulder blades back and down. And as you exhale, bring the shoulders up towards the ears and tuck the chin into the chest, letting the back round. Kind of a cat and cow here as we inhale, opening the heart, gentle back bend, and exhale, drawing everything in, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. A couple more times with your own breath, inhaling to open, exhaling to shrug those shoulders, and last time, inhaling to open exhaling to shrug those shoulders. And now as we're sitting up back in the center here, drawing the crown up towards the sky, grounding those sit bones, and continuing to breathe that nice three-part breath, let's bring our fingertips to our jaw. And maybe just the index finger, maybe the index and middle finger like I have it here, so you're making a nice little pad. And just bring it to the jaw, kind of down in front of your ears. And just make little circular motions here. And if, uh, if you want, you could pause the video and go get some face lotion and massage it into your face while we're doing this. It'd be kind of a two birds, one stone sort of a thing. Though I would never throw a stone at a bird. But we're just massaging. And just notice where you might have some sensitivity, maybe a little bit of tenderness. I had a lot of pain down here in my jawline when I was doing the whole root canal saga. And just maybe reverse your circles a little bit. Maybe bring the fingertips a little higher so that you're right in front of the ears maybe even closer yet to your temples. And maybe massage right here behind the earlobe. Take your index finger and find that little divot that's kind of right there in between the jaw and the neck, right underneath the earlobe. You might find that a little tender you might want to massage it or maybe even just press gently, letting the jaw open, letting the jaw relax. You can do this in the shower too when you're washing your face or at night when you're moisturizing or in the morning when you're wearing your sunblock. Take your fingers and your index finger and thumb now and Massage the earlobes, maybe work your way up the ears to the hard cartilage part, all the way up to the tops. Some people are piercing these days. Oh God, I sounded old. 
Maybe bring the fingers pads back here to the temples. Maybe take the inner wrists, well, like where we would maybe massage in some perfume or something, and massage the temples here. Maybe the tops of the ears, maybe right over the ears so that you can't hear anything. This might be good to do when you got a bunch of screaming kids or adults around. And then let's take the fingertips to our scalps and just do a little massage here. But instead of doing it like you would if you were shampooing, do it as if you're trying to just really move the skin on the skull here. Just letting the fingers wander, maybe spending extra time where it feels particularly good, noticing where it's tender. Remembering to keep that tailbone tucked so you're not putting any strain on the low back. Maybe clasp your hands and bring them down behind your head as if you were going to do a traditional sit-up, but we're not going to do a sit-up. <sighs> and let the thumbs massage that uh, little shelf here between the skull and the top of the neck. Maybe switch your hands so it's kind of the wonky side and do that again. Massaging the top of the neck, the tendons at the base of the skull with the thumbs. And then release your clasp and continue to come around with the thumb pads back underneath the ears. Maybe getting that place in between the jaw and the neck right under the earlobe. And right here, just a little bit of pressure. Let the jaw open. Inhale, thinking about that three-part breath, filling the belly, letting the solar plexus expand, lifting the heart. Exhale to reverse. One more time, full breath in, full breath out like a wave, and then releasing to the sides. That is one of my favorite practices and I should do it more often. Um, if you hold tension in your jaw or if you know somebody who does who might benefit from this video, I encourage you to share it. My goal in growing this yoga channel is to reach as many people as possible with the wonders and the power and the groundedness of yoga and meditation as well. All of the practices in yoga have been essential for me throughout 2020. I'm not sure how people who don't have yoga and meditation in their lives are making it through this crazy year. But I hope that you will share this practice Come back to it again if it's been helpful to you and let's spread some relief and some release and some great tools for dealing with everything that life throws our way. Thank you so much for joining me today. Namaste.